This is an old sample of a cotton plant. The cotton fibres come from the seed head. As you can see, they contain literally thousands of seed head. I gather up to 30,000 when it blooms. And you can imagine the fields just bloom over about a three week period when the cotton uh, heads are ready for picking. But don't be misled, that's soft, but this is a thorny uh, branch. It's a tough, tough plant to pick by hand. Once it's picked, it gets taken into the processing. And here we have a, a sample of fibres that still contain lots of these impurities. You see? So the first thing you need to do is get them out. And you can do that by a method of cleaning, um, floating the fibres through the air and the impurities drop out or stroking the cloth out. The fibres need to be all turned in one direction and clean. Once that's happened, They've been turned into a sliver. These are the fibres ready for processing into yarns. They're soft, they're lined up in one direction, they're clean. If there's any mess on here, that's because my sample's been handled a lot. They have to go through a series of rollers, which makes it smaller and smaller. It eases out the fibres. You can't do it in one. And eventually you end up with this sort of thing. This is quite fine now and ready for the final uh, twisting and processing. So the yarn gets twisted, at the same time the fibres get pulled out, and it makes a strong yarn that can be as fine as determined by the need. Cotton's a fantastically versatile fibre. It's in 60% of our textiles. It's breathable, so t-shirts are great for that. And uh, here you can see a 100% cotton t-shirt. It's very, very fine, but it's still got a texture in it. It is very greedy in water though in production. Uh, it's said to take 2,700 litres of water to make one t-shirt. So environmentally, it is a bit of a problem. And we're very familiar with jeans. Jeans apparently take up to 12,000 litres to make, so we have to care for those as well. Denim is a, a, a weave, it's a twill weave, but it's done in cotton because of the durability. Cotton can be woven very finely. Um, this is uh, an old shirting material and it's light. It has some drape, but cotton is known for creasing. So there we are, you can see it creases quite easily. And uh, that's why it's sometimes mixed with uh, polyester or cellulosic fibres in order to reduce that effect. It's also very highly absorbent. So if I put water on here or on the jeans, oh, it's gone through to the jeans already uh, on this T-shirt. It'll absorb up to 65% of its weight, which is why all our towels are cotton too. Cotton is a fantastic fibre. It's uh, strong, durable, biodegradable. It absorbs a lot of its weight. It's non-static and it can be turned into all sorts of different products. But the picking of it is hard and there's very often uh, slave labour, I'm afraid, in that. And it takes a lot of pesticides and insecticides to grow unless it's grown organically. So we just need to make choices if we can.